Hi, Matt with the trailer. If you have a 2023 GMC Yukon XL and you want to get some larger items on the back of it, or you want to carry some items that have a lot of spillage and you don't want that getting inside your vehicle, then the Flint Hill Goods Aluminum Hitch Cargo Carrier is going to be a great option for you. So let's check it out. Now, if we take a look inside of the Yukon, you'll notice that we have plenty of space in here. If you look, you can see there's a lot of real estate that you can put other gear back here. But let's say you are trying to haul maybe a generator. That's pretty big and it's going to be kind of difficult to get in here. And if you do get it in here, it could scratch up your interior. That's probably not something you're going to want. So putting it on a carrier is going to be a great option. Or if you have any bags of concrete or mulch, anything that's going to have a lot of spillage to it, you probably also don't want that back here. Keeping it outside in a carrier like this is going to do you a lot of good. Now this is going to have a pretty high weight capacity can hold up to 500 pounds and it can carry a lot of items inside of it. Now get that exact measurement. I'll take out my measuring tape and go for the width. That's going to be for the interior 47 and a half inches. The length is going to be about 20 and a half inches and the height is going to be six inches. And you can stack things above that point as well. Now when you do that, just make sure you strap your items down. You're going to have a lot of great anchor points. Any of these thicker beams are going to work just fine for you too, on the bottom and on the side. What I wouldn't recommend though, is using any thinner points like this here. As you can see, I can kind of bend that with just my hand. So if you strap something down pretty tight, that's definitely going to damage it. And talk about stacking items back here, you need to make sure it's not going to interact with your hatch or block it. So if I measure from the bottom to our hatch, it's kind of sticking in a little bit, but I think a safe measurement is going to be about 13 inches until you start kind of getting in the way of your hatch. Which is also good too, is if you keep it below 13 inches, if I can shut our hatch, if you keep it below 13 inches too, that's going to be out of the way of your license plate. So it's going to benefit you, benefit you in that way too. And also you'll still be able to use your backup camera as well. Next, let's see how this is going to sit on the back. So what I'm going to do is measure from our back bumper to the back of the carrier. And that's going to be about 27 and a half inches. This isn't going to stick out too far, but since this is a pretty large vehicle, definitely consider this too, because being those really tight spots, like a parking spot, this might be a hard fit. Next up, let's see what that ground clearance is going to look like. That's going to be about 22 inches, which is more than enough. Now, something to think about is the lift of getting those heavier items in here, because that is pretty high. So if I have a generator in my hands and I got to lift it up here, I not only have to lift it up that high, but above this wall to put it inside my carrier. So in that case, I recommend grabbing a friend for those really heavy items. And the way this is going to secure onto our vehicle today is through this two inch shank that's going to go into your two inch hitch receiver. We're going to have an anti roto bolt with a hand knob that goes through and connects to a nut. Now these can be a little bit tricky to get on sometimes because you have to hold it in one place. Well, you have a socket and wrench on the other side and you tighten it up. But that also makes it also pretty easy to get off too. In my opinion, I think this is a great option if you are trying to get those larger items back here or those items that have a lot of spillage to them too. And what I like about this one in particular is since it is made out of aluminum, it's really easy to store because chances are since this being a big vehicle, you don't want this to stay back there full time. So what you can do is just take this off and it doesn't weigh very much since like I said, it's made out of aluminum, you can store it in your garage. Now, if you are looking for some other options that might be maybe a little bit more durable that are made out of steel. We have plenty of options on our website because that's going to give you more tie off points. Because like I said, those thinner points on this carrier aren't going to be the greatest. But for the most part, I think this is going to do just as good of a job as any steel one. And I like that as it's pretty light too. And that was just a look at the Flint Hill Goods Hitch Aluminum Cargo Carrier on the back of our 2023 GMC Yukon XL. I'm Matt. Thanks for watching.